This is WBZ News Update. I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez with a look at our top stories today. First responders in Duxbury sharing these pictures of a rollover crash on Route 3 North. The accident happened early this morning. The fire department says one person was ejected from this vehicle and rushed to the hospital with life-threatening injuries. Investigators say the truck may have rolled at least seven times. Police are investigating a stabbing in East Boston. It happened after midnight on Saratoga Place. Police telling us that the victim's injuries are not life-threatening. They haven't identified the victim or a motive. Investigators are searching for the cause of this massive fire in Northboro. The flames broke out at the former R&T furniture store yesterday. The building had been vacant for years, and smoke could be seen for miles. Firefighters were able to stop the flames from spreading to the building next door. One firefighter was taken to the hospital for heat-related symptoms. Crews were on the scene for hours, putting out hot spots. Meteorologist Barry Burbank is here taking a look at your forecast for the Sunday. It's a good day, Barry, to, you know, go to, in the yard and do the things that you need to catch up before the rain gets here. Yeah, I think you're right, Andrew. It's good for outside work and activities for today. Certainly not necessarily good for swimming to the ocean, that's for sure, because the water's still cold and the air is cold as well. We started out this morning nice and clear, and then all this low level moisture streaming in from the Atlantic on a northeast wind has resulted in just enough moisture to create all these strings of clouds. Quite interesting, the strings in a northeast to a west southwest fashion like this, penetrating southwestward. It's basically clear over Cape Cod. So nice sunny day, but all cool down there, and it's sunny across northern Worcester County northward, but right in the middle, including most of the Boston area, varying amounts of cloud cover, which includes some patches of blue sky and sunshine. We look to the south, and that's where a system is going to clobber us with a lot of rain tomorrow. So high temperatures today will be in the upper 50s, uh, right along the immediate coast, falling back this afternoon to the mid-60s inland, and it's going to be a cool day for the beach, 58 this afternoon, maybe even dropping a little bit with a late afternoon high tide. We're looking at this system to come along tomorrow to give us a lot of rain. Looks like it's going to be starting here sometime during the Monday morning commute. So it looks like uh, every time we see a new uh, model run from these res high resolution models, it delays it a little bit. But so, especially the second half of the uh, morning commute will be soaking wet, and we may still have some leftover rain for the afternoon commute. It does look like about uh, more than an inch and possibly a few spots, one and three quarters, up to two inches of rain. It is really going to pour tomorrow. And then we had a little bit of a break Tuesday morning. A few showers will pop up in the afternoon. And then it rains again Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. But that should be a lighter rain as it seems right now. And finally warming up the second half of the upcoming week. But really cool. In fact, so cold it may be a record low high temperature tomorrow, Anna Ritis. Oh, Barry. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Anna Ritis Rodriguez. This has been a WBC News Update. Thanks for watching and have a good day.